Uh, let's uh, welcome in the management at uh, Honda Motorcycles and Scooters India Private Limited, Mr. Vyas Guleria, Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing. Uh, sir, if you could just first start by Q1. Uh, the growth has been about 20%. I think you've got some capacity which has started, which has helped you growing versus the industry not doing that well. Can you just uh, put that in context for us? Yeah, uh, good morning and thank you for inviting me on, the, on your show. Uh, the first quarter has been, you know, very good in fact for Honda and it is all going as per our plans and uh, we have done more than 20% growth in the first quarter. So, there, you know, one, one thing is for sure that the automatic scooters continue to drive the momentum of two-wheeler market growth in the country and uh, Honda being the market leader in this segment. So, we are able to capitalize uh, on the maximum on this uh, automatic scooters industry growth trend because we have been able to add capacity. First, we started with our fourth factory in Gujarat, first line which was started in February 2016 and that line we were able to utilize the full capacity within three to four months from its uh, commercial production. And then uh, very recently in the last week, we have also started, uh, you know, done the inauguration of second line of uh, this uh, fourth uh, plant in Gujarat that is also making scooters. So, this we also hope that this second line also would reach its peak capacity somewhere in September. So, that means we are able to add another 12 lakh units, almost uh, 1 lakh unit a month from February to, uh, till September. So, that is what is you know driving our growth and uh, at the same time, uh, we are also seeing uh, good traction of our motorcycle sales primarily from the models which we launched last year. The Levo which was launched and then followed by the CB Shine SP with 5 gears and the CB Hornet 160R. So, all, all of them are giving us good sales results and momentum. Right. So, can you just tell us that uh, at a peak level of this new capacity plus the old capacity, uh, what, will be, uh, what, you know, what, what can be the total sales or the maximum sales? See, since uh, the second line will come uh, only uh, reach the peak capacity by September 2016. So, uh, from September 2016, we would have uh, a total annual production capacity in all the four plants uh, at 5.8 million units. Right. So, about 58 lakhs. Uh, so, that broadly means about 5 lakhs uh, per month. Uh, you know, currently, if you look at uh, the numbers that you've done about 4.2, 4.3, you expect this 5 lakh to sustain growth for the next 2, th two to 3 years? 5 lakh per month I'm talking about. Yeah, so in, the, in the long term, uh, first is that, uh, that as a matter of fact, we are still carrying back orders of our scooter despite customers have so many options available in uh, automatic scooters in last, you know, couple of years. But, but the Honda scooters still remain the first preferred choice of any scooter buyer in the country. And when we started this, uh, our second line in Gujarat, still we were carrying 25,000 back orders. Mm -hmm. So, since uh, this second line capacity, peak capacity will reach just before the festival time, uh, I am sure that this would be the first festival where Honda may not have any lost opportunity to cater to the demand of its scooters in the market. So, we are Mr. very... Uleria, uh, I think the question that uh, Pankaj was trying to ask is that, uh, as a, for instance, this month, uh, in June, you have sold about 4.3 lakh 4.27 lakh uh, units, right? If your peak capacity goes to about 4.9 lakh, then uh, the potential you have of growth, let's say, is about 20%. Now, uh, at full capacity utilization. So, how soon yes. will you then have to increase your capacity again? So, yeah, first of all, I would like to put it on record that we are targeting to sell uh, close to 5.4 million units in this year. That okay. means uh, second half we will be uh, utilizing the full capacity. Mm -hmm. And they, since we know we are reaching full capacity, mm -hmm. the back end preparations are already on. Uh, since the third factory in Bangalore, we have additional land. We already started uh, the preparations, the leveling of the land as well as the building construction has already started. Mm. So, it depends uh, how the market behaves uh, uh, October onwards because all the festival days this year are going to be in October. So, post the festival season, 
and also the uh, the monsoons are also uh, expected to be late monsoon august september mm. how the market behaves accordingly the second uh, p- uh, increase in the capacity next step of increase in the capacity of honda mm. the back end preparations are already uh, almost through so that means we are today in a position to add after this four factory in gujarat another 6 lakh unit annually in next uh, financial year that is fy18 mm. all right and uh, how many did you uh, what is your quarterly number this time sir it, uh, because i'm uh, at 5.4 uh, million you'll have to sell about 1.3 or 1.3 to 1.4 million per quarter and i understand that uh, your capacity is only coming to play now right yes yes so how much did you do in See, the first uh, quarter this capacity or uh, second line of so we, so we have done uh, you know uh, 12 lakh plus so as as you mentioned that yeah. you know first time we did 4.39 or so and then uh, last month we did uh, 4.27 or 4.28 mm. and before that we did 4.35 so that is uh, i think uh, close to 13 lakh units we have already done in the first quarter okay and uh, which part of the which segment is selling the most i understand you said the scooties are doing extremely well is that the uh, space that you will be targeting yeah the automatic scooters or the automatic scooters are doing the you know uh, the uh, giving the maximum response and a very good response mm-hmm. so at the end of the year uh, based on the current trend we expect the mix between scooters and motorcycles anywhere between 65% to 67% coming from scooters mm-hmm. and the rest of that should be from the motorcycle segment so 66% from scooters uh, uh, just for our viewers if you could give give us a sense as to the price range of those scooters the average or the median price let's say of the scooters that you're selling see uh, our scooter range uh, basically uh, the entry, uh, the personal compact scooter that is activa i mm. it starts from uh, around 49 to 50000 uh, price range okay. and it goes uh, let's say activa 125 mm. it is around 55000 plus so we also introduce uh, during the auto expo navi that is also on the same activa engine platform of uh, 110 cc engine mm. uh, if i include that the yes we uh, we are selling uh, automatic uh, engines uh, starting from the range of uh, only 40000 rupees that is navi is uh, starting at 40000 ex showroom price and going all the way up to 50000 55000 plus you said uh, i'm just trying to get a sense that what is the demand like where in this space are you finding the maximum demand what kind of feedback are you getting from your dealers Uh, you are talking about scooters yes scooters or as in is it towards rate? the lower navi end which you are saying is starts off right at 40000 or is it more going up more as you go up the scale see what we are saying is uh, the maximum demand is coming from 50000 to 55000 price range so where we have uh, activa dio as well as uh, aviator so this is the range where the maximum scooters are being sold uh, Uh, in the market and uh, when it comes to your bikes is that also in the more premium category where you're finding more buyers the as far as honda is concerned uh, in the range of 58 to 60000 uh, close to 60000 that's a range where we are seeing uh, from honda product portfolio motorcycle the maximum sales are happening where we are selling the cb shine right uh, so i just wanted to understand about the scooters market as well that uh, you know the shift between bikes to scooters for the last 12 or 18 months has been very high you know you look at bikes growth in the industry it's been very low but the shift to scooter has been very high uh, do, do, do you think that will continue for a while now uh considering that this scooter uh, growth trend is not only 12 months it has been over i would say one decade or so we are consistently seeing the contribution of automatic scooter to the total two wheeler industry is increasing and primarily there are you know certain attributes we are considering that you know more uh, uh, women empowerment more working ladies coming into the society the appeal of the uh, scooters as a unisex product that is also catching up very fast 
and being automatic the convenience as well as the storage capacity and the biggest uh, uh, you know shift mover or the uh, technological aspect which came into scooters was the four stroke engine giving mileage almost into the domain of the 100 to 110 cc bikes that is 60 kilometers for a liter and uh, on an average the uh, motorcycles in the 100 to 110 cc market uh, are giving around 65 kilometers a liter so this mileage gap uh, also has been considerably bridged by scooters with technological advancement evolution which has happened over last 10 years or so so that's why we and uh, last the more motorable road so that is also leading to uh, you know a bit by bit penetration even to the rural area so scooters today in india are now being increasingly accepted as a commuter vehicle also rather than only a short distance travel earlier maybe 10 years back right uh, you know some of the other industry players in the scooters of course they are nowhere even comparable to you right now in terms of numbers uh, but you know just wanted to understand they are getting aggressive as far as launches as far as marketing spend is concerned uh, how would uh, honda compete with them will new launches in scooters uh, will aggressive marketing spends continue see any uh, challenge or any new launches is not new to honda so we have been a global player for so many years and we have seen all such challenges in the international market also so we are fully prepared and equipped and even once you are saying that so many launches have happened and in during this period of so many new launches of scooter activa becoming the number one selling two wheeler in the market in the in india not only the number one selling uh, scooter in the market but number one selling two wheeler in the country is a big achievement and it's a testimony to the fact that consumers have a lot of trust and appreciation as well as confidence on Activa as well as Honda scooters in the country. Right. So we are fully geared up uh, for facing this challenge. Any, any competition is welcome. Right, sir. Thank you so much for taking our time for us uh, and hope to see you again after the next month numbers are declared.